guys you are welcome in my youtube channel for subscribe click here and for more option to get the notification you can choose send me all notification for this channel click save go again you see here you're notified mobile only go to manage settings and choose mobile and email assalamu alaikum hi guys how are you i'm so glad uh, to see you again with the um, new part it's a part uh, part four uh, this is actually the last topics the last points uh, in our uh, tutorial about uh, cube configuration with set connection so if you go to the first page here if you remember we talked about cube we talked about design okay and we finished basic configuration uh, basic configuration with translation with part two uh, we finish also translation rules and translation sorry we finish translation rule and translation profiles so translation profiles also finish translation uh, application of translation profile also we already finished it still the last one it is the dial peer so in this part of video we are going to talk about dial peers okay so let's now get started with dial peers let's see what is the dial peer dial peers actually it's like static routing table uh, if you remember there is a writing table and there is like a route there is like routing table inside the routing table there is the IP address range and the next hop you remember okay so it's the same so it's like matching the dial number or matching the number or digits and look for which IP address or which interface I want to send it to so for example if I have 2001 this extension number I want to send it out okay so I will create the peers I will create their peers I will match this number then I will send it to for example interface or IB address like a session target okay so this is just simply about the peers let's go more deep about their peers uh, actually I I draw this one so this one is very important to understand if you understand it then it will build the all information based on this design first i have isp sep this this cloud it's a sip server uh, it's coming from isp okay and this is my voice gateway chq cisco unified border elements and i have cucm cluster here if you see here i divided this design into two parts it's one part and LAN part so I divide number one is LAN and number two it's one okay so there is something called like LAN dial pairs this is what I'm going to explain it in this section I will just explain about LAN dial pairs and one dial pairs and what is the difference between them Actually, if you understand this two points, then you will understand how you are going to configure your call manager or CME, okay, or Q, whatever the name. So let's start with LAN dial peers. LAN dial peers, actually, it has two things. I have inbound and outbound, okay? What is the inbound and what is the outbound? So all issue in voice gateway, it's all about inbound and outbound if you remember in the last video or I think it's part 2 B uh, the translation profile and application of translation profile I explained something about in and out which is related to translation application of translation profile here I'm going to be more in details so the land peers it could be inbound or outbound okay let's see what is inbound first inbound dial peer okay it's from ccm to q so everything or every extension every call flow is coming from ccm to q we call it 
the inbound dial pair. So everything from CSC empty cube, it's an inbound dial pair, okay? And this description is it's like the outgoing calls. We can call it like outgoing calls from call manager or from CUCM, okay? Or from LAN, something like that. The, the configuration for this, or the configuration of dial peer for this part from the inbound dial peer, it's like incoming, then I will call number, okay? I will make the call number, what is the wild card here to match it? Okay, but with this one, we don't have to make like a next hop. Okay, so this one is just related like about matches. So uh, what number I need to match, for example, what extension I have here, I have to put it inside the call number. Okay, so, but be careful, there is actually most of cases we don't have next hop for this one. Okay, so this is all thing about inbound dial pair. Let's see about what is the outbound dial pair. Let's go to next slide. Okay, so this is the outbound dial pier. The outbound dial pier, it's from Q to CUCM. So let's draw it here again just for this is my cube, and this is my CUCM, and this is the ISP cloud, okay? So we are going to, we are speaking in this side, in the LAN, in the LAN side. So we talked about the inbound, which means from CUCM to cube, this is called N, and the outbound, it's from cube, to the CUCM, so this is out, okay? Out from cube to CUCM, which means the incoming calls from cube, any incoming calls from cube after translation or after match it, then we will go to CUCM. The configuration for this dial peer, it's about Destination button, I will create destination button, which is match, what matches or what extension I need to match or what their number I need to match. Then I will send it to next hub. So this one I need next hub. So this next hub, what will be? It will be the IB address of CUCM. So the IB address of CUCM here, it will be the next hub for this outbound dial pair. So the outbound from cube to CUCM, it's like the incoming call from cube, okay? And this tend to CUCM, okay? So I think it's very clear and very straightforward now. I think it's very clear for everyone. I will show you there later when I finish this explanation, we will go to our configuration file and we will match what we have just talked about theory. We will go to about like what you are going in the lab. Okay, so this is about this all thing about LAN. So I have inbound and I have outbound. The inbound, it's like the call, the calling coming from or like incoming from CUCM to the call manager or sorry to the cube and the outbound is the incoming call coming from cube to the CUCM okay with this one with most cases we need next hop IB address with this one actually most cases we don't need it the IB address for this one or next hop sorry let's go to another one Let's go to speak about one. Okay, so this is the one that help here. This is my voice gateway, and this is the ISP. Okay, so I want just to make this is the one side. The same thing for one day LP, the same thing of plan day LP. In one day LP, also I have in and I have out. So I have inbound and I have outbound. Okay? What is the inbound and what is the outbound here? The inbound dial peers here, it's from service provider.
to Cube. So everything is coming from service provider to my voice gateway or to my Cube. We call it inbound dial peers. Okay. So every incoming calls from ISP to Cube, it's called the incoming calls. Okay. So this one, the same thing. We are going to incoming call number with what is matched. You remember this one? We did it in the last video about the application of translation profiles. We did this one. And we didn't use also the next hop, just for match. So I will match my extension, what I received from the ISB. Then I will send it to my call manager with another dial pair. So that's why I don't use here next hop, because I will use another dial pair to use the next hop. I will show you where. The, the other one, it's the outbound dial peers. The outbound dial peers is from Cube to service provider. Okay? So everything here from Cube to service provider, they call it outbound. What does mean? What does it mean outbound? The outbound it's the outgoing calls from Cube. So everything it's in the Sorry about this, but everything here, the CSCM cluster, every user, every internal user here, he wants to make the outgoing calls, he must pass with this dial peer. Okay? So here is the outgoing calls from a queue to service provider or to the SEB or to whatever, this one. The dial peer configuration it will be like, I will make destination button, I will match my number, what, I, what, what exactly that destination what I need. Then I will make session target. Session, session target means next hop. The next hop will be, will be the IB address of CBTRANK. Okay, so here the IB address of CBTRANK. Okay, so this is all thing about dial peers, um, about inbound and outbound. We still need to explain about uh, wildcard and symbols. What does it mean? Um, let's see first to go to the wildcard. I prefer to go to wildcard explanation. Then uh, we will go one time to our configuration. This is my dial peer symbols and wildcard. I will focus actually in the fourth on fourth sample. Dot brackets T letter and this is symbol hat symbol. So. Uh, what everyone ex actually means. The zero, they call it period symbol. The period is mean like any digits number you dialed. Any digits from zero to nine. So this one, it's include any digits. Okay? Number two, these brackets. Everything between brackets. With this one, actually, I have many cases. Um, with this one, I have... Uh, for example, one case like sometimes I have zero to three, which means any number including I, it's mean like any number including zero, one, two, three. So everything is zero or one or two or three will be here. Okay. Another cases I have, for example, one comma three. That's mean one or three, just I have two numbers, one or three. So this one, they call it individual number, and this one, they call it contiguous, contiguous number. So contiguous number, like for example, could be one, two, three, or zero. Here is, I specify it. I need one or three, okay? So the other one is look like combination. So uh, like, it will combine like, for example, one, two, three, comma, six, comma, nine, like this, okay? So it's mean like one, six, nine, or two, six, nine, or three, six, nine. This is the matches what we have, okay? So this is the number, what we needed. The T, it's the letter T, actually. This one, it's mean like, um, uh, we use it actually most of time for international calls. It means like a variable number, something like any variable number you dial. So anything you dial, it will be included with this one. Uh, it's not like zero, no. Zero, it's mean one digits. For example, if I two dot dot dot, that's mean 
Two could be two, one, 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 two, 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 three, two, any number. But if I dial two T, that means T it's any variable number. For example, if I dial zero, sorry, not two, zero. If I dialed zero <clears throat> nine six two eight five like international calls. Okay? So T it means after zero, this number it's a variable number. I will just explain it to you in the, our configuration where I'm going to use this one. This one, it's hat. This hat symbol, that means exclude. Don't use this number. For example, if I use like this hat symbol like that, and one, two, it means don't include one or two. So one and two, it's not included. Other numbers included, zero, okay. A nine, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, it's included, but one and two, it's not included. So this is the most fourth symbol or what card we are going to use in our configuration. So let's go now to our configuration file to see how we are going to install, how we are going to configure or to understand what we are talking about. So let's go there. So if you remember, this is my configuration file. Uh, this is the last configuration for application of translation profiles. You can go to last video and to know what does this mean. But here is, I will go back just quickly because I want to explain for you this idea. Remember, this is my sub from service provider. And this is my voice gateway or cube. And here is my cluster, CCM cluster. Okay, here is my LAN dial peer, and this is my WAN dial peer. Okay, so let's see here. This dial peer, you remember I used it last video for, I matched the translation profile, what I have, what I created there, because I created N, this translation profile. I want to use it for incoming, so, any incoming calls from SIP trunk, okay, I want to translate it. I want to uh, make it like incoming call number. You see here, three, four, five, six, dot, dot, dot. So three, four, five, six, any three digits, okay? This one is coming from the translation profile. If you go there to last video, you'll understand what does this mean. But I want to show you here, this is the one that appears inbound, okay? so. This one, this dial peer, I use it for in the one. So this one dial peer inbound, it's coming from SIP, okay, to my voice gateway. So I used for this one about around uh, three dial peers because I have, if you remember, uh, I have three possibilities for this number. I have sometimes, uh, the calling I have received call like three four five six or zero one two three four five six, okay, or one two three four five six. I explained all these things in the last video. So this is the one, okay. This is the one they appear to the outbound. So it's coming any calls coming from service provider to my voice gateway. Okay. So now let's go to other cases. This case it's from uh, one day peer outbound. This is the outgoing call from SIV trunk, okay? So I did this explanation, uh, I did this description, sorry. Let's see this. Okay. I did this uh, description just to explain more. This is the outgoing call to SIP trunk, okay? This is actually also, it's related to the one. Why? Because this is from voice gateway or from cube to my SIP or to ISP, okay? So it's here related to this one. So this is the outgoing call, which means the outbound, okay? So 
my outbound from here, okay, from voice gateway, anything from here is coming to voice gateway and wants to go outside, it will match for this dial peer voice number four, which is emergency call. So let's go there. What What is this? So if you go just back to my slide, just to match the idea, I want to distract you actually, but I want to match the idea here. Okay, let's go to last slide. Okay, so this is the one. Okay, so here is we are going to we are we are going we are going to speak about the outbound LB, which means the outgoing calls from Cube to SIP or to service provider or to SIP. Okay, which is this one. So this is the one that appear. It's outbound. It's the out. It's coming from voice gateway to the SIP or to the service provider. So here I will match many things, many destination button I need because one destination button, which is the most important, which call it the emergency call. So this one I used this. Okay. So the same thing. If you didn't use a comma, that's mean this one. It means like if the any user here in the my network, he will dial nine. So let's see. Burner and use another color just for more explanation. So I have this destination pattern 0349 and dot. Okay, so anyone he dialed, start dialed 9, then dialed 0, then here is any dial, any digit dial. So for example, he did he dialed 0 also. So the calling will go out 900 or 931, 949. Okay, 991, for example, 991. This is the emergency call in Saudi Arabia. So that is, if the emergency call, it's 911 in your country, you can make it like this, nine. So match just one, okay, and dot. So 919, something like 911, 912. It depends, what is the emergency call uh, range in your country? You have to use the suitable destination pattern. So this one I need to send it. So anyone he called 900 here, and it will match this dial pair. It will go immediately to SIB with using the dial pair voice number four. Okay, so this is what I need. So I have also another thing. I have another dial pair. Another dial pair, for example, for the uh, local. Let's erase this just. Okay. I have the LP also for local. Um, this one actually the same thing is the outgoing call to the SIB provider. So this one is related to the out, not to the end. So this one is related to the one side. Okay. Still, we are still in the one side. We didn't go to the land side. So this is another dial pair, which is related to local. Local, it's mean like uh, internally, okay? Uh, like uh, internal user. You will see I created here uh, local one and local two. So here is local two, okay? Another local. So also here, uh, uh, for example, for telephone free, okay? Telephone free, sometimes uh, calling free. We start with 9200, then any digits. This is our destination buttons. Also, this one is related to the one outbound. Uh, here is also the same. I have uh, telephone two, okay? Telephone two free, for example, 800. Actually, this one you are going to use very important for the bill machine. Yes, this one is related to the bill machine because bill machine sometimes you need to use 800 or 9. 200 to configure it. So this is very important. Uh, here is for national calls. Okay, uh, my national calls inside my country. It will, it will start with 01. Then any number 01, uh, 01. It will choose this 01. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight digits. Any digit number. For example, if my internal user here he wants to go to uh, internal national, he dialed zero, one, two, three, 
8651111. It will match this. Why? Because he dialed 0 first, then 1. This is, okay, sorry. This is match. Okay, matches here. Okay, then 0, 1. Okay, it's match here, this part. Then 2. He dialed 2. So, okay, yes, it is 2. Correct. So, it will come here. Then 3865111. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, this is 7 digits. So, it will match this dial pair. And this dial pair, if it's match, it will send it immediately to my ISB SIB IB address. So, this is my SIB IP. So everything here it's matched, it will send to SIP IP. Also in the last dial pair, will send to the SIP IP. Okay? Because if you remember, we go to our slide, we said that this one, the outgoing calls we need, destination button and session target, which is the IP SIP trunk. Okay? So this is our outgoing calls. The other one is for mobile calls also. Mobile calls, the same thing. If someone in my country, in Saudi Arabia here, uh, what project I have, uh, we, the, our mobile uh, mobile number starts from 05. Then it depends on the service provider. Sometimes 050, sometimes 051, sometimes 055. It depends. So everyone who wants to dial the mobile number, it will match this dial peer and it will send it to the SEB server, okay? This is our international call. So uh, this is what I called you T, okay? So uh, this is T. It means like he will dial 00, zero first and any digit numbers, variable number he will dial. For example, because I don't know what is the international. It's very difficult to take every country what is the um, uh, uh, what is their uh, like uh, code number or dial code number then the dial number it's very difficult to make it many dial pairs for this so this one this one dial pair can just obtain one uh, for all sorry one dial pair can contain all international calls this is my voice gateway and this is my call manager CUCM and here is a service provider okay this is one side and this is land side this one it's a land dial peer for outbound what we are explained before that means anything is coming from voice gateway to call manager okay to CUCM so everything it's coming to our voice gateway and match this destination pattern it will send immediately to 192.168.1.2, which is the this IB address of this call manager. So everything is matches from here. It's coming from where? It's coming from the application of transition profile. If you remember the last video, I explained about that. I didn't make an next stop there. Okay. So everything is matches up. It will come to this dial pair. So this is the first one because in my uh, in my scenario or my project I have two CUCM one is subscriber and one is publisher for redundancy issue I created two dial pairs for this one one is related to call manager number one as you see here and other one is communicated with call manager number two the same destination pattern so everything is matches this one it will go to my call manager and this one, it's uh, the DID, DOD number, if you remember. Yes? Okay. So I think it's very clear. Um, this is all thing about dial peer. If you see here, it's many things inside the dial peer. I will make it will I will make another video. Uh, it will be like the last video in this tutorial. Uh, it, I will explain about what is the voice class set bind control source and about media source. What is the difference between control source and media source, and why we need it here. Uh, I will explain also something about uh, what is the codec, why I need it here, what is NOVAD, it means. Uh, this one, it will just include in one separate video, I will make it for uh, these things and also troubleshooting issue. 
So I'm so glad to finish this, the last part. Uh, I will include uh, this, my configuration file in my description. If you go to the description, you will see the link and go to upload this file and try to uh, apply this one. If you can go do it with GNS3, it's very good. If you have like a real scenario in your one of your projects, you can also try it there uh, and tell me what is going on with you. And I hope this one, if anyone here follows this one step by step, he will get fully connection 100%. Uh, except just he wants to understand the concept and he can just go with his design and his configuration. So I'm so glad also again to see you. Uh, I will see you inshallah in the next video. So until that moment, salam alaikum.